Hello everyone and welcome back to 5 Minute Mondays. We had our week off. It is Monday, May 23rd, 2022. Joining me as always is Dr. Timothy Bray. Dr. Bray, tell us about COVID today. Yeah, so Danny, um, not much is new. We continue to see this sort of slow and steady increase. So you can see from the dashboard, uh, our, we're averaging about 5,000 uh, new cases uh, in the last seven days, right? So um, up from a week ago, looking at uh, 4,200. This is a 25% increase, but remember that's out of more than 6 million people who live in North Texas. And so our new infection rate is still very low. In fact, the CDC still considers for Dallas and Collin County uh, what we would call a uh, low transmission rate. Um, now that said, we are seeing an increase in active cases. We are seeing an increase uh, in, um, in new cases. And let me show you that trend, just so you can sort of visualize what we're talking about here. Let's go to the trend comparison. There we go. So if here, if we look, um, and this is statewide, but you can see that, you know, we, we sent, since we dropped um, uh, way back in January from, you know, we come down to the end in, in mid-March, we finally slide out of uh, our big Omicron crunch. We had these sort of ups and downs, and now we have this sort of slow and steady rise, and that's a pattern that gets replicated in um, most of our uh, North Texas counties. So, you know, here's Collin, for instance, there's that slow, steady rise. Here's Dallas, there's that slow, steady rise. Um, there's, you know, remember, this is happening at the same time as we are easing masking restrictions. Um, we are easing restrictions on public transportation. So to the extent that the disease is still present, and it is, um, as we relax those precautions, we will see more transmission, but we're not seeing transmissions anywhere like we were seeing when we were in the throes of Omicron. So, so far, so good. Um, you know, again, continue to be vigilant. Thank you, Dr. Bray. And do you have any um, advice for uh, both people on either side of the situation that are super concerned about the growing number of cases and maybe on the opposite side of that they just don't think COVID exists anymore? Yeah, so, you know, the, the guiding principle here is we still have an active virus in the community. That's, that's just the reality. Um, the virus has mutated. The current variants that we're dealing with are less lethal. Um, but they are more contagious, which is the general trajectory for most viruses. I think, you know, the, the good news is for folks who are um, trying to protect family members at home or perhaps they're immunocompromised, you get a significant amount of protection from a good uh, KN95 or N95 mask. You get about 95% of the protection you would have gotten if everybody were wearing a mask. So if we continue to be vigilant for folks who are uh, who are concerned, you know, they should continue to social distance. They should continue to wear a mask. And I think for those who maybe are are concerned that everything is over and there's nothing to worry about, just bear in mind that it's not over yet. We are still sort of in what may now be an endemic phase. And we need to respect the fact that there are people out there who this this disease, though, for many folks, it's just a bad cold. It could be deadly, too. And so we need to be respectful of their wishes if they want to social distance, if they don't want to shake hands, if they you know, if they if they're wearing a mask. I think that's that's perfectly appropriate. And we, we all should support that. Absolutely. Thank you so much, Dr. Bray. We will see you next week on Five Minute Mondays. Thanks, Danny.